The month of March is normally a time where people think of the NCAA's March Madness Basketball Tournament, but the University of Lethbridge Pronghorns have their attention firmly set on the Canada West Basketball Championships this coming weekend. The men's and women's team both earned buys into the second round of the tournament. The women's team finished with the fifth seed and will play on Friday against either the University of Manitoba Bison or the University of British Columbia Thunderbirds. Women's basketball head coach Dave Wachnuck says the team's versatility will challenge a lot of opponents. That we have that versatility to play some different styles. I feel like we match up well with a lot of teams. So I like our, you know, I like our advantages going into games. And you know, really it's one game at a time. You can't look too far ahead. The women's pronghorns are also a very experienced group. Fourth-year guard Jessica Henney says that playoff basketball is a lot different than the regular season, but the team's experience is a great asset. And a lot of older players, and me personally, I've been in a couple different playoffs, so I think that'll help for sure, having that playoff experience. It is a lot different than regular league plays. The men's team will be at home at the First Choice Saving Center. The men finished with a seventh seed and will take on the winner of Thursday night's game between UBC Okanagan and the University of Manitoba. Men's basketball head coach Jermaine Small says the team has had a Game 7 mentality all year. A like Game 7 mentality. So every game, like I wanted them to feel like every game is a playoff game. Um, and, you know, I think there'll be a little bit of nerves just because, you know, for guys that have been here before like Chad and Jeff. And, you know, I, I think there might be a little bit of nerves. And maybe our new guys will have nerves. But I've told them all year, like, we got to play like it's our last game. And I, and I think that will translate into to Friday night. For some graduating players, this weekend will be the final games of their college basketball careers. Forward Chad Oviat says he is looking forward to leaving everything on the court. Yeah, being at the end of my career, it's a little bit more special, a little bit more like anxious about it. Like I need to get things done this time around, and, and so yeah, I'm just going to give it my all. And yeah. For Bridge City News, I'm Nathan Ryder.